First, we were watching dogs in Watch Dogs 2. Then, I was watching my neighbour through their living room window. Now, we're watching the Church of Scientology. So, welcome back to the life of Marcus. He's a virgin from the San Francisco Bay Area, also known as a hacker from the most overpriced city in America. With it being an expensive place to live, there's obviously a lot of homeless people knocking about, as evidenced here when I come across a tent in the park full of gnomes. Clearly this was a married man who had a bit of a gnome fetish. His wife said enough was enough when she noticed carved out penis sized holes in the gnome's anal regions, so she packed her bags, took the kids, his credit card and gnome savings. He does however have a small bag with four and a half thousand dollars in it, so I guess he had enough for one month's rent in a one bedroom apartment. Awkwardly low, he returns and I tried to explain to him how I didn't think he'd be there seeing me steal his only cash. But I think my outfit ended up scaring him off, so that's when I realised I don't look like a citizen of San Francisco. Like where's my earpiece, my vegan latte, or my tech startup company? So naturally I bought a Prius, made a blog got a matcha latte and then went to the clothes shop to find something that said I'm okay with low testosterone levels because women like a guy with a bit more femininity. However, just as I cop some fresh new blue sandals with white socks, I notice a bit of commotion going on in the store. That's when I turn around to see that the clothes store owner is getting arrested. Wow, clearly boss man was up to some shady business. Something you'd never expect from a Romanian guy who wears a gold chain and has his chest hair hanging out. Naturally, as we're in America and boss man wasn't born here, when he's cooperating with the police, they just randomly decide to turn into Prime Edge and spear him for no reason. Anyway, I finish up my outfit for a grand total of zero dollars as there was no one to stop me from walking out the store. A decision that was unethical? Yes, but these clothes were probably made in a sweatshop where people get paid half a Cheeto for lunch, so what's unethical really? I go find some people to see if they accept me rather than running away now as I'm dressed like a regular citizen of San Francisco. That's when I find my new buddy who has a I heart San Fran t-shirt on so you know he enjoys prostate exams a little bit too much. When profiling him, however, I notice it says attending a funeral. Funerals tend to be quite depressing and get you down for the rest of the day, so I decide to do a solid one for my new buddy and shoot him multiple times with my stun gun, giving him severe nerve damage so now he has a good excuse not to attend. The stun gun is actually one of my favourite parts of this game. It gives you that option to go for the non-lethal route if you really want to, because Ubisoft is smart enough to realise that not all of us gamers are just merciless killers who want to take out every single NPC we see in the most brutal, disheartening way possible. So the real mission today is taking out the Church of Scientology, or as they're known in this game, New Dawn, an elite religious group where you actually have to pay to become a member. But then again, when you look at some of the requirements you have to meet to be able to participate in other religions, paying some money doesn't seem all that bad. So, Sitara gathers a load of people to protest outside the church, and when we pull up to the church to sneak inside, I may accidentally run over one of the protesters who were on our side. So yeah, great first impressions. Then again though, if they haven't even got basic road safety when protesting outside Scientology churches, then they're not someone that I want on my side. I access the church using Marcus's convenient little drone that can fit into nearly any space you could think of. And you already know that he definitely doesn't just use this for hacking purposes. Imagine how convenient it would be being able to watch your neighbours have intercourse over a drone rather than having to get a ladder and climb up to their bedroom window every time. Once inside the church, I had a real put down the bible, pick up the monster energy and change my name to Kyle moment, as I tried to stealth it multiple times, but it kept on going wrong, so I just turned it on full massacre mode. So I download New Dawn's data, and then try to dip out of there and make my great escape on the local tram. But, as I learned quite quickly, trams don't make for the best getaway vehicles, as the driver just kind of stood there and waited for me to get off. Wow, you're really going to make everyone else on the tram late to get to their destinations just because there's a criminal on board being chased by three police cars? From the information that we stole, we learned that Jimmy Siska, a big time actor in the Watch Dogs universe, is actually a part of New Dawn, but is in a lot of trouble with them and is about to have an emergency audit. Due to him not really being in favour with New Dawn anymore, we can use that against them and get him to be on our side. So, naturally the only course of action to take is impersonate the auditor, go to Jimmy Siska's house and see what we can get out of him. 
Our new look and outfit makes us look like some sort of Pikira of children for the rich and famous, which is what I imagine New Dawn is behind the scenes anyway. Child trafficking to the side however, we did learn some useful information about the church from Jimmy Siska. There's a place that he's afraid of called the Red Room, where they take problematic church members and attempt to rehabilitate them. By rehabilitate them, I'm sure they just mean brainwash them further to get them behind their ideas and beliefs. Oh wow, imagine that. Religious people brainwashing you to believe things that totally aren't real. I'm so glad this doesn't happen in our society. As much as New Dawn sound like a bunch of dingleberries that took meditation and getting in touch with your inner self a little bit too seriously, you have to admire the work that they've done. They've got an educational centre just for their religion, which honestly is quite an inspiration to me. I can only one day hope that I have as much of a reach to educate people about the great work our Lord John is doing. Don't mistake New Dawn for a church. They are a criminal organization. Thailand's finest spitting absolute facts there. They're not a church, they're a criminal organization. And like every other religion, they're also a bunch of liars. This place is called the Red Room, but it's not even featuring a red room. Look, I'm sure people with severe color blindness can do a lot of good in life, but we as a society should just agree to not let them become architects, as it makes about as much sense as going to Russia and holding hands with someone of the same gender. You can hope for a good outcome, but it's always going to end messy. This mission was actually going really well, and I hadn't yet been detected by a single guard. But then I remembered that Hannibal the TV series didn't get picked up for a fourth season, so all of a sudden I was enraged. I'm a guy, so obviously I didn't deal with these feelings by talking about them. I just blew up some random guy in a video game instead. We find Jimmy Siska in a room, strapped to a chair watching some sort of religious videos on repeat. And would you look at that? A red wall. Not a red room, a red wall. That's like being told you're going to get strippers for your birthday, but really it's just your best mate's dad in a mankini awkwardly giving you a lap dance. Not the proudest wank you'll ever have, but hey, let's move on. With all that done, there was just one step left in our plan to take down New Dawn, but before we went ahead with that, I decided it was time to go to the beach and have a nice relaxing afternoon. And maybe even pick up some real life women, who knows? I noticed this babe who's just trying to get a tan, but I must drop the confidence to go up to her and say a couple of words. Surprisingly, it goes well, and just as I go to take a selfie with her, I accidentally press the wrong button and whip out the AK instead. So yeah, blew my chances there, I guess. Looking on the bright side though, it's a lesson learned. When you go to take a selfie with a woman, don't accidentally whip out your AK-47. Unless, of course, AK-47 is a nickname for your penis, then, well, go ahead and do it, because I'm sure that would go really well. So here we are then, the House of New Dawn. It's said by Jimmy Siska himself that there's an elevator inside that goes underground where the New Dawn keep these tablets that they believe are real and come from a person they call the Visitor. That to me just proves that this entire New Dawn thing is a big old faff. Someone coming down to Earth visiting us and then leaving behind these tablets? Yeah right, you wouldn't catch your average straight white American believing in something so ghastly, no. They go for the more realistic things, like a girl getting pregnant without having intercourse, and then her son being born, dying, and then rebirthing himself. So after significantly improving Marcus's KD, we then go inside the house, do a little bit of the old hacking dead sex stuff, to find out that Jimmy Siska was actually telling the truth as we go down this elevator. So here they are then, New Dawn's most prized possessions, the tablets that the visitor left behind. Not gonna lie, I was kind of disappointed that they weren't literal tablets as in pills, because I was looking forward to getting off my face with some outer world ease. Either way though, these are still pretty cool. That is, until we realise that the tablets are actually just fake. They're more hollow inside than my ex-girlfriend, who told me that a packet of hobnobs could get her more sexually aroused than I ever could. We finally had done it. New Dawn had been exposed and all of their lies were just out there for everyone to see. I guess these people who believed in Scientology, aka New Dawn, would be needing a new religion. So it's a good thing that the word of John is on the rise. Tom Cruise, my friend, my DMs on Twitter are open. Feel free to slide in and learn more about our Lord and Saviour John. If you would like to see a continuation of the Watch Dogs series, be sure to let me know down in the comment section below or by leaving a like on the video. An extra thank you as always to those of you who have clicked the join button and become a member of the channel. Thank you guys for watching, I really do appreciate it, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.
I would like to give a huge shout out to my motherload void boys and above, Gerardo Cruz, Wolves of Valhalla, Bjorn van den Hatter, Charlie Waldock, Ghost Warrior 38 and Voyeur's Gay. Thank you guys for your support.